Goodwin. I'm Jennifer. Uh, we have three children, three boys. Uh, we've been married almost 12 years. Um, we actually met um, at church. Kind of cheesy. I was uh, <laughs> I was a greeter at the door, and that's where I met her. <laughs> <laughs> I was a real estate appraiser for 14 years. Um, I remember when Jennifer and I first met, she asked me, she didn't really know what a real estate appraiser was, and she said, like, do you imagine yourself doing this forever? And I said, without a doubt, forever. I loved it. Um, about six years in, I, I left the guy I was working with and went and started a company for a local lender. Um, it was a great thing at first because it gave Jennifer the opportunity to go home to uh, be with our kids as Joshua, our second child, was born. Um, so it was good there. Um, God provided in the income, um, but then it got a little crazy and uh, turned into some pretty wild hours. Um, no family time. Um, but I was kind of stubborn and thought, well, this is what I've got to do to provide, so I'm going to do it. Um, so I did that for eight years. And it did start out really well, and then it went to about 80, 90 hours a week. And he would come home around 10 or 11 at night and then um, work again at home and leave at 4 in the morning. So. We didn't really see each other and our kids never saw him and uh, that kind of started creating a lot of problems. Yeah, I remember, um, I don't remember what year it was, but Joey was probably four. Um, for some wild reason, I came home one weeknight at like 7 or 7.30 and he was in the middle of the living room playing and I'll never forget. He looked at, he looked at Jennifer real quick and then he looked back at me and he said, Mama, Daddy's home. And it just, uh, that kind of, <laughs> that kind of floored me. And that got me to thinking, I mean, then that, you know, this really isn't worth this. Uh, to miss all this time. Um, but yeah, I guess I was still stubborn and thought I was the only source for us to make it was my income. Um, so I kind of buried that. And, Kept going. Towards the end of the eight years there, I started realizing, you know, well, I guess I was watching my kids grow up without me, basically. Um, I mean, I still did things with them, but <laughs> you can ask them. I was no fun to be around, really. Uh, I was tired, I was grumpy, and they paid for it, and Jennifer paid for it. That, it was really hard. It was, it was lonely. Well, he came home one day and he said, I, I cannot do this anymore. And um, I said, are you going to quit? <laughs> like, I'm excited, but maybe I don't want you to do that. And um, so we really, we, and he said, I just, I'm going to figure out what else to do. And we really just started praying about what to do. And um, we were looking at selling our house or selling anything we could or just doing anything. And um, they actually came to him and said they were going to shut the company down. So we felt like that was, that was going to solve that. <laughs> we weren't sure what was next. <laughs> to 
twice, I almost <laughs> left. It was horrible. It was horrible. We were on totally different pages. We weren't even in the same book, probably. It was pretty bad. No time. They closed my company on a Friday, and I went to work on Monday. Um, you know, it was a, as a, I guess a man and the one who's supposed to provide, it was kind of tough because the, the pay was significantly less. And as I have since discovered since being there, um, I was probably as worried about how it would go as the four women I'm in an office with <laughs> were worried about. Uh, but we have since gelled together and we're fine. I'm just, uh, I'm just one of the girls now. <laughs> I mean, I got my first check from where I was at now, and I was just like, wow. But since then, I mean, we can't even begin to uh, tell all the ways, the different ways that uh, God has provided. Uh, and it's really shown us both that it's not, it doesn't have to be through your paycheck. Um. I think it's been, it's been a, a good talking point with him. And, and they are, two of them are old enough, they remember exactly what it was like. And they will tell you very quickly, they don't want to go back to the way it was. Yeah, Jennifer came home the other night and said they had a, was last night actually coming home from small group and she said that her and the boys were talking the two oldest ones and they were talking about my old job and they were like we don't want him to go back to that um, simply nothing that I'm doing great simply the fact that they get to see me which I don't really understand <laughs> but, <laughs> and I mean Joshua he said uh, so daddy didn't make the same money and uh, Jennifer said no. He said, well, I don't care. At least he's home when I get to see him. That was really great. That yeah. was last night. For the future, um, I, it's, it's weird. I mean, when, when income really wasn't an issue, we, we talked about um, we had talked about adoption. And I was like, there's no way. And it's kind of odd now that the paycheck's not what it used to be. Um, God has really, I guess, softened my heart towards that. And we are, um, we're actually, I guess we're starting the process. I'm Mark. I'm Jennifer. We're members at Venue and we're thankful for the journey. Mm -hmm.